What phone are you using right now for your webcam as, as you're broadcasting in the stream yard here? My experience, it's been better quality than the guy using his built-in laptop webcam. It's supposed to be a DSLR replacement. Yeah, I think there's still a lot of good webcams out there. I think just, I would be considered probably a pretty basic user when it comes to video, uh, to be honest. Playing with using, finally, I was using a traditional webcam for much too long. And I started playing with using my smartphone as a webcam. And I've used, I mean, it's way, way better right off the bat. You can just tell when you turn it on. But I just found out a lot of different things people might not be thinking about when they when they do it. Uh, for example, I mean, I don't know about you. I, I try not to be a tech hoarder, but how many of you guys might have an old smartphone laying around that you don't nope. use primarily? Nope. Nope. <laughs> yeah, I nope. got one. Nope. Nope. So originally I took uh, an old uh, Samsung 8, some style to be honest with you. I don't even know which one it was. But it was laying on my on my shelf and I took it and I started using that to stream my Prusa. Um, and that, was, that worked out and I was like, wow, this is so much better than this webcam I had, which I paid substantial amount, I guess I would say, for webcam on it. And the quality, again, was just, it was lacking. Um, again, lighting. Um, for me, I've always had a struggle, it seems like, with lighting. I started using the camera and different softwares I've used. I was using IV Cam, and just tonight now I'm using uh, Rinka Big Camel. And the auto-adjusting that both these softwares have done, um, as far as lighting goes, have been taking all the all the brain work out of it. You know, you're, you're moving a spotlight over here and there, and then you're getting blurs, and you're getting all sorts of goofy stuff. And it's it done it all for me. Um, sometimes my webcam would overcompensate, and then I would totally lose focus, and then I would find focus again. So it just made for really bad image quality overall. But um, and then the customization that's already built in with a lot of these softwares. So for example, I want to turn my light on. I can turn my my flash on. That would that you would use for taking pictures. I can use that as a primary light. And just by activating it with a toggle on my software, which that's like a huge thing. So if you're not really, you want lighting, but you're not into getting a, a separate light source um, and figuring all that out and you want to use it, there you go. And uh, the only thing that have been cons, I would say, um, if you use that light for a heavy amount of time, several hours, I haven't had any personal experience with it, but it can get hot, you know. And granted, your phone will go into a thermal shut off. But I haven't had any actual physical use uh, where my phone's gone in thermal shut off. I've ran my light on mine for almost eight or nine hours at one point in time, and it's not it's not, not drawn any any negative sides. A lot of battery use, obviously, but if you got it plugged in, you know it's whatever, you know. Um, but well, what, what do you? I gotta ask because uh, obviously. You're using Reincubate Camo now. It's a product I've recommended. They don't pay me. Uh, you know, it's it's the best in class cross platform. Use any smartphone, Android, iOS, connected to Mac or PC. It's it's great and and it just keeps improving with time. Uh, what phone are you using right now for your webcam as as you're broadcasting in the Streamyard here? I'm I'm still using the Samsung Fold uh, Z Fold Four, um, and that's my primary daily driver phone and that's the one i'm using the stream on today so um and i'm getting good, good pretty good quality i'd say with it um everything can always be tweaked but that's the one i'm currently using so but um a couple other things i really really liked um using that the mounting options trying to mount the webcam versus this i could put it in anything that holds a smartphone there's so many options out there Right now, I got one attached to the back of my wall behind my monitor. So if I tap the monitor, hit the desk, your picture isn't going all over, you know, so you don't you don't get blur. Um, and the camera's not always shaking. So that was something cool um, that I found. I always had traditional webcams, and they always seem to have this the, the goofiest mounting ways, you know. That's the, the, you know, that's, that's the thing. Forget, put the mount to the side for a second, uh, but... I, I mean, I was using webcams too, just like you. And when I realized that you you could connect a smartphone, again, 
And I looked at all the options as well. And the least junky, if, if you will, and that's not even putting it in, in, in the light that it, it deserves to be in, but the most elegant, let me frame it that way, the most elegant product out there software was Reincubate Camel, like immediately, like no questions asked. And I've been using it, you know, daily. I have my uh, Pixel 8 Pro pointed down at my my 3D printer here on the desk, and then I stream that into StreamYard on either Maker Deck and or uh, on the, 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 the Twitch stream at live.perillo.com. People do not realize just how much of a leap it is. It's like, I feel, this is the corollary, right? Um, going from a non-smartphone to a smartphone is making the same leap as going from a webcam to a smartphone as a exactly webcam. it exactly. is night and day because the the optics in the average even the garbage smartphones right are still going to have for the most part and i can't i don't i haven't done any tests still going to have better output even if you got like a cheap like a mid range even a mid range right like a pixel, like any the, the cheapest pixel you get is going to produce a better a webcam image that you could use for you know web conferencing, you know streaming, whatever it happens to be. And this is something that I just feel, if you, as Will you pointed out, like uh, you know, do you have an extra you know smartphone lying around? Use it as a webcam, especially if you use your webcam or need to use your webcam at any point, because the webcam itself, and I've seen them, not all of them, but a bulk of them are just garbage. Like the color is never right. The focus is always off. Like it's just, it's clunky, as you pointed out. And yep. you've got you get a you get a nice uh, a desktop, um, like a, a tripod. You mount it to the, the back of something else. You you put it somewhere, and you're going to have a higher quality image that's going to impress people on the other end. They'll ask you, "Are you using a DSLR? Like what are you using right now?" Now I'm not using a smartphone with this camera. This happens to be a dedicated uh, camera that I, I'm using specifically in, in broadcasting into this this instance. Uh, but um, there are big reasons you'd want to move to using a smartphone or using an old smartphone specifically as a webcam. It, 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 the, the difference is is staggering. Staggering. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And I even found out that the built-in microphone that you'd use, like, say, for your speakerphone versus the microphone on the webcams you buy, I don't care how old the smartphone is. It's It, re it receives so much better than the dozens of, of webcams I've gone through uh, in just a way that, you know, if you're doing something quick, you want something simple, you're just doing a, a video uh, conference with somebody, you don't need a lot, you put that up there and it's, I guarantee you, in my experience, it's been better quality than the guy using his built-in laptop, webcam, uh, whatever his, you know, Logitech, whatever brand he's running, she's running, whatever it might be. I've, they've, I've had that question before. What are you running? And I'm just using a smartphone. And that brings up the whole topic. Well, how did you do that? You know, I feel like it's not something people are totally aware that it's it's actually super simple um, to do it. And anybody can do it if they have a smartphone. It's it's And it's night and day. It's easier. It's simpler. I feel like there's even less setup, really. I didn't want to jump in. I don't know if Toxic or, or, or Glennon had anything that you wanted to. I was waiting for some yeah. thoughts. No, I didn't know if you were going to say something, but no, I agree with you because I can never get the the type of image that I want out of a webcam. The software is always lacking, regardless of what sensor they say that they're using, uh, whether it's a mirrorless or or what. And and some of the the webcams, the higher end ones that you pay premium price for. Uh, it's, it's never what you can achieve from your cell phone or DSLR. And, uh, and those two are close. They're close, a lot closer than people would, would, you know, realize how close that you can get image quality, uh, on a, on a modern smartphone, as opposed to a DSLR now especially with the zooming options where you actually have physical zooms now in some of these new cameras that are not just digital uh, and, and the light sensors. And I've learned a lot since I started taking, you know, uh, pictures and, and doing some photography uh, about the ISO and the shutter speeds and different things like that. But it, it, the phone takes the, the guesswork out of it for you. It's, Use one of these third-party options for a software, connect it to your PC, and you're done. You're done. It's just yep. almost a plug-and-play experience at this point. Right. 
I, and that's what I found, and that's I th- what I think what really did it for me is I had an old smartphone that was probably worth maybe fifty dollars, and I had a webcam that was worth I paid two hundred for, and I compared the two side by side, and that old smartphone was excelling in video quality, and I just like that's at that point I said nah I'm done no more <laughs> I'm not doing it you know why why at that point and that's so I started running my daily um, daily driver phone my uh, Galaxy the Z Fold four there. And I mean, that's, that's about the best quality I have ever had since I've done anything with video, which I'm incredibly impressed with. I guess I was just oblivious to how simple it really was. I've heard of people doing it. Um, didn't really know much about it. Thought, uh, you know, if you connect it with Wi-Fi or cable, you know, what's your fail points? You know, how hard is it on the battery? Come to find out all these worries were, they really weren't a problem. I mean, it's, it's a pretty the widely accepted thing that people do with them now so and beyond that i believe a few well the current beta version of android on the pixel allows you to connect by way of usb to a pc or a mac and then have it show up as a a webcam so you don't need third-party software or you won't need third-party software with android devices and again i don't know how i don't know if that's an android thing and i'm pretty sure it is Versus a, um, a a Samsung thing, or sorry, a, a Google Pixel thing. Let's see if I can pull up the setting here. But um, it's possible that they're going to make it such that you can turn any Android device using that Android version and higher uh, as, as a webcam to a Mac or a PC. When I tried it, it was, the, the feature was there, but it was... Like it was really glitchy. Like this, the, the the image would kind of flash, and people were like, "Why is your camera doing this?" Camo mm-hmm. doesn't do that. Reincubate Camo doesn't do that. I'm sure thir- other per- third party apps don't. But in a pinch, and it, uh, certainly if the if the feature gets you know further refined, it could be worth investigating. But at, right now, at this at this stage, your best option for Android is Reincubate Camo, Mac or PC. Best option for iOS isn't necessarily camo it would be more using um uh the uh continuity camera but that's only in conjunction with mac os if you had an iphone and a pc you'd use camo if you have android a pc camo uh so it just kind of depends on 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 which direction you're going to go but that's something that i i I should throw out there uh, as potential future compatibility uh, with android at least and that i know of it's it's going to be an android uh feature that's not locked just into the pixel yeah, I was yeah, surprised. Go ahead. Well, oh, go ahead. No, oh, I was going to say I was surprised with how many softwares there was available, and that was what the mm-hmm. hardest thing was to figure out which was the one for me. Uh, some better than the other, but uh, well, we yeah. told you. We said, yeah, do not pass go. <laughs> do not collect two hundred dollars. <laughs> Reincubate camo. Like we jumped you right to the fight. Like, yep. but we were right. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Well, I mean, I was having some crash fall problems before that and i mean we've been on stream now for almost an hour 40 minutes and i've had zero issues knock on wood but you know it speaks for itself so so i i i loaded that this is the screen on the samsung right and it, of course you'll see this on every version of android so um where you can you you can choose your your how how you connect by way of usb so you've got like what midi transferring images charging phone usb tethering so this this is where with newer versions of Android 14 on up, I'd assume you're going to see the option to mount the camera as a webcam without any third-party software. I'm sorry, mount the smartphone as a webcam without any third-party software. But that's not in this version of of Android, and I only have it running on a beta version of Android uh, on the uh, the Google Pixel right now. But that's so I assume that's going to translate across the board. But like I said, in the beta. And it may just be glitching. It may be that's the way it's going. Hopefully, they flesh it out though, so that it is stable, because it'll make it a lot easier for people. To just well, I've got a, an Android phone. I'll just use that as a webcam. Right. Yeah. And the only thing I had to do, and I don't know if it's for all softwares, but I had to turn on uh, developers mode, which would allow me to access the USB debugging. Oh uh, yeah. Which you do need, you need debugging. You do need debugging yep, at yep. this point, at least for Android. Yep. Yep. And it sounds scary if you're just a you know basic user but it's i mean if you google it there's a million and a half different videos it's super simple you know so it's uh definitely not a downfall really so is that what you're using toxic are you on a a, a smartphone no so this is the foss cam elgato no elgato face cam that's what it is uh it's the 1080p model they have a 4k version 
It's supposed to be a DSLR replacement. It's obviously not as expensive as a DSLR. But it's more expensive than a standard webcam per se. Um, I get a, I get occasional like you'll notice like it tries to focus on the TV when it's yeah. too bright. Well, I was gonna say your your exposure. If you could lock your exposure, that's yeah. the one thing that gets thrown off. Or what you do is just dim the TV a bit, and then yeah. it wouldn't be as dramatic when it's light dark. Yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, that that's what I'm using. And, and to that point, I was going to mention about uh, to Will was the other thing too is the uh, the megapixels the the cameras will use right because some of them will advertise it. They'll say you know it's a 1080p three megapixel or five megapixel uh, lens. Uh, but the, you know, if you're using a built-in laptop one, it still might be two megapixel, one megapixel. If it's a really crappy laptop, might be 0.6, but it'll say 1080p because that's what it's processing that image at. Uh, so it comes down to not only that lens that it's using or that, that, uh, uh, the sensor that's built into it, but I mean, even like a $250 phone, right? You're getting 10 megapixels now. Again, the lens is plastic. It's not It'll be the greatest image, but you're, this is going back to what we were talking about, I think two podcasts ago with Netflix and everything about the bit rate. So you can have a really garbage sensor at let's say one megapixel. It can record 1080p, but it's not going to be as clear as a 20 megapixel 1080p image because your bit rate or the amount of data that you're able to intake is, it's much higher. So that's, I agree. I mean, I've, I've thought about using an old phone or webcam, but um, haven't had the need just yet. Well, yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm definitely not slagging your webcam at all. I was just kind of no. curious. Yeah. yeah, I mean, if it works, it works. It's, it's just more like, as opposed to a potato camera, you know, mm -hmm. that, that, yeah. would be, that would be the issue. Glendon, what are you on? Uh, this is a DSLR. It's the Sony okay. A6400. Full frame? No, this is not a full frame. I, no, you know, I'm full frame, but I'm it on is a, mirrorless. I do take, you know, pictures with it. It's not just here for the stream. You know, it is kind of dual use, which is a pain whenever I have to unmount it from one tripod and right. put it on another, or or use it in handheld mode. Try to get it back in frame exactly like it was previously, but it's not optimal. But I do prefer the picture quality that I get out of this over the the webcam that I was using previously. Yeah, I think there's still a lot of good webcams out there. I think just I would be considered probably a pretty basic user when it comes to video, um, to be honest. And I think that was what threw me off. Um, like you were saying, you know, you can maybe get a, a two megapixel camera and they're not going to outright say that, but they're going to be like, hey, it's 1080p. So mm -hmm. somebody like me, okay, great, that that'll work. And then you, know, you look at prices and, and different stuff, and it's it's translating it. I think what's been my problem to really know what I'm getting. So um, I'm more advocating for the basic user who's like, you know, I don't know a lot, but I just want a decent quality camera. You know, what where do I go from here? And maybe you don't want to spend a lot of money. Maybe your budget's bigger. You know, maybe you don't have a budget, and that allows again, chances are you probably have a smartphone. So. 